we're now going to factor polynomial functions. And so a polynomial function is a function whose role is a polynomial. And when we're asked to factor this, then we just treat it like any other polynomial. We ignore the f of x for a minute, and we start by counting the terms. Well, start by looking for GCF, of which 1 is the only greatest common factor and doesn't help us. So then we count the terms and see 3. It's not a perfect square trinomial, so we take 8 times minus 15 and get minus 120, which we break down as minus 2 and 60, which doesn't work, minus 4 and 30, minus 8 and 15, none of which work, so minus 3 and 40, minus 6 and 20, on, oh, there it is. So we break this down, and we take our minus 6 and our 20, and we divide both of them by the lead number 8. We reduce our fractions to get minus 3 fourths and 5 halves. So our polynomial answer, f of x, equals 4x minus 3 times 2x plus 5. We check our answer, 4x times 2x is 8x squared, plus 20x minus 6x minus 15, and sure enough, that reduces down to there, and so we have our answer. So now that we've factored our function, we can write it in its factored form instead of in its polynomial form. Just to show one more example, suppose we start with h of z equals minus 3z cubed minus 15z squared minus 27z minus 135. And so here we're going to factor, and the first thing we look for is a GCF. And we have to recognize right away that the negative is going to come out, as well as a 3. And so that's going to leave behind z cubed minus 5z squared minus 9z minus 45. Now we have something left over, and so we count the number of terms, 1, 2, 3, 4, and oh, and we have four terms. That helps, and all of these should have turned positive as well when we pulled that out. And when we have four terms, we only do factoring by grouping. So on the front, we get minus 3 with the z squared times z plus 5 plus 9 times z plus 5. We factor out the z plus 5, which leaves behind the z squared plus 9. And we look at our pieces that are left over, and we say, oh, the z plus 5 is prime, and so is the z squared plus 9 because it's a plus 9. So it's important to keep in mind that we only go farther if it's a difference of squares, not if it's a sum of squares.